Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Allen Family Farms. I'm Curtis. Um, so today I'm going to be installing a uh, one of the BMW um, turn over hitch deal things right there uh, on my uh, on my F250. So first major step, and it's probably the hardest step ever, is to clean out your bed. Um, all I did was just take everything out of it. I didn't sweep it out or anything just yet because I have plans and well, I'm just running through the car wash later on. So I'm trying to show how this is a, I don't want to say simple, but just a home um, installation. Um, I'm not going to use all the fancy lifts and all that kind of stuff. You know, I just, I just don't want to put the truck on it right now. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't have one. So. Um, I'm gonna get this get this started. I started reading through all these directions and such. And yeah, I'm using directions. Sorry. I just don't want this thing to like fall out while I'm driving. The first step is, uh, well, the fifth step is to drill a hole. So this says four inch. So I didn't have the directions when I was at the farm where I actually have a four inch hole saw. That might pose a little bit of a problem, but we'll work through it. So it says for the uh, eight inch long bed, well, Oh, excuse me, the eight foot long and short bed, um, less than eight feet. Yeah, so that's mine. Um, and mine's a 2000, I don't know, 18 or 19. I think it's a 19. Um, so I'm looking like 45 and a half inches. So I just have to measure it back. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm getting ready to cut my hole now. Um, of course, I got all my stuff laid out. And yes, so I raised up my airbags in my truck to give me a little extra working room see those little airbags right there and uh man it makes this thing freaking high all right so okay, here's another look at my, my little setup there so i measured back because the instruction said 45 and a half plus the thickness of your liner so i went 45 and 5 eighths from the back to the center and then from wheel well to wheel well and I actually used two tape measures and did them in opposite directions it comes up 25 and 3 16 um, I just wanted to double 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 check before I actually made my my cut all right sorry for the bad view I didn't bring my tripods with me okay so I got my hole drilled and we're gonna put the Harbor Freight hole saw set to a test that part went through this is aluminum bed so if it was uh, steel I wouldn't be doing this maybe I would I don't know still has teeth that's good scary hole is done. Ta-da! Yeah, it's hot. Looks fairly centered. We'll see when I'm done. All right, so I've made no progress. Um, I do like to lay out my all my stuff so I can see it and access it quickly. Um, I have it covered up with a rag right now so the they don't get too hot because they were heating up in the sun quite a bit. I have everything laid out and I realized there is a second package that has not arrived. Keep in mind, there are two packages when you get this hitch. And, uh, well, I'm on hold right now with UPS trying to find out where it's at because the online is not showing where it's at right now. So I hope I get it soon. I'm gonna try to install these. I'll snug them down if I have to. And I think that's really about all I can install right now while I'm waiting on the second package to arrive. But I at least wanna do something. Um, and then I'm going to attach my, um, my plug for the bed. I'll do that here in just a second as well. All right, back on this uh, gooseneck hitch install. So mine seems to have the welded um, brackets on the other side. Just don't know where the heck it should be here. It's all the way. Okay, it's all the way up there. So I'm just gonna run that through. And 
that through and you can barely even see it. And hopefully it sits there. So it says you're supposed to leave everything kind of loose at the moment, for the moment, but I have a hiccup. They only delivered one of my two packages and they're closed today. So it won't be till Monday, today's Saturday. So it won't be till Monday before they bring this, which really stinks because I actually have a trailer I need to pick up tomorrow. So it's not gonna happen. Um, I reached out to the individual. Hopefully they're okay with it. So here's the interior bracket right here. That's happily welded on there. I just need to get um, these kind of situated there. I don't know if I can have y'all watching me on this one. So if this was on a lift, it would be a lot easier. But yeah, if I had someone else do it for me, it'd be a lot easier as well. So it's doable. I'm gonna snug these down more than what the book says because I'm just trying to do what I can do right now. All right, so I am gonna snug these down real tight for now because they're gonna ride in there until uh, sometime during the week when I'm at work. Um, I'll just have to wake up early and come out and uh, install this. So at that point, then I'll loosen it back up. But for right now, I'm just trying to do what I can do. Um, and it seems like that can ride like that, so it's okay. The other one's a little tricky. It's kind of hidden in the back. I don't even know if it can even be seen from the camera's view, but it's way back over there. Um, I'm just gonna let y'all sit right here and watch me. Uh, even though it's tight, I seem to be able to access it fairly easily. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Uh, I'm just trying not to push the bolt back or drop that nut like I just did. I guess if you had a second pair of hands, they can be over on the other side or you can have some long arms like me and then hold it and that seems to work as well too not bad all right with these airbags it's kind of nice so i can actually i'm sitting under the truck and uh i just i'm sitting on my on my creeper but i can actually sit under the truck that's kind of cool. I highly recommend these suckers because, you know, there's metal shavings and stuff everywhere since there's now a hole in my bed. Now let's get this tightened up a little bit. Just gonna put this on this side. Like I said, they're both three quarter inch. And then when I install the rest of the hitch, I'll just loosen these back up. All right, so the other one, maybe. Yeah, so you could see it right there. I just don't think I can get my hands in there because I'm holding the camera. But. You might be able to see some of it there. little tight but Ugh, there I hope you were able to see that now the next one goes on this side which I'll go get right now and that should here's the bracket again welded on whoops I don't know if you can see that, but there's the welded bracket right there. So thank you, Ford, for hooking it up. I might be able to just do it from this side. Whew, that one's tight there. That's tight there, all right. So I have more room on the inside of this one here than reaching around from the tire. Oh yeah, a lot more room. I'm telling you with these airbags and lifting up the, the body a little bit, oh man, it really helps a lot.
Gosh, let's see if I can reach around. They talk about removing the exhaust here, and I might have to eventually because everything comes right, right around this exhaust. So I may have to remove brackets or something. We'll cross that path here in just a little while. Well, during the week. things I feel in my finger so I'm trying to go slow so I don't slice my finger ah there we go those brackets are done and that's I think really all I can do with this unfortunately so I'm gonna wait another few days and uh, you guys are gonna wait a matter of a couple milliseconds so catch you here in just a little bit all right another day back at it finally got my parts laid everything out um, as it sits on the truck. So this is forward, that's back. Um, right, left, driver. There's these little bushings that have to go in. They are keyed, so they have a flat spot on them. So just make sure those are set right and it goes right in. All right, so as I was editing my videos, I realized that this last section uh, where I actually installed um, the hitch went away. So, um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the installed uh, part of it. Um, I can't show you inside the bed either because I've loaded the bed up with a bunch of stuff for, for the farm on the next trip. So let's go under here and take a peek. And of course my spare tire is in place right now. So it kind of blocks up a lot of stuff. But I think from here you can see it pretty good. I can't even get in there how I want to get in there with this spare tire here. That front bracket up there. And that is actually my DEF tank. It's not my gas tank like I thought it was, or my fuel tank. There is a bracket up in there is the hardest one to get to, but it's it's very doable. These are the hold downs for the, the chain. Of course, the ball is installed right now, but it's pretty easy. So this has the uh, welded on brackets already, but it made things a little easy. You know, just following the directions, keeping everything loose until the end is the way to do it just how they say in the directions. This is on the outside frame in my wheel well. I have the latch right there. I can't even reach it, but it's right up there. That will uh, allow me to get the ball out and lock it. Just move the exhaust. It's gonna be a thousand percent easier um, if you move the exhaust. I actually took off a bracket right here and then I am hooked to the next joint right there. It's just a couple, three bolts. Just dropped it. Um, there is one, oh, what do you call it? One sensor over here, somewhere mounted up, but you know, I didn't move it out of place. I just pretty much just dropped it down. Gave me all the access I needed to get to these bolts over here. Everything is pretty easy to reach, it's easy to get to. Uh, it's not too bad. I did have a few uh, cursing moments. So we're looking at the front. It's mainly the front driver's side bracket. That's, uh, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's, it's it's right behind the uh, DEF tank. I mean, it's doable. Uh, it's just kind of a little bigger to get to. And actually, I was doing something here. I can't remember what it was. Maybe one of these bolts. And I slipped. And that's where I cut myself on, on the heat shield. So watch out for that. I ended up putting on some leather gloves and didn't have any more issues. I smashed my finger a few times. First time didn't hurt, but re-smashing it hurt like a little son of a gun. Um, but that was just uh, just tight spaces, you know. But really, it's not bad. It took me it took me all of about three hours to put it on. And you know, earlier in the video, I I had put these these side brackets on. I ended up having to take them back off because I used the wrong bolt in them. So my install process of three hours is really not too bad, and that's pretty much the full process since I had to swap out bolts and stuff, but it wasn't bad at all. I wasn't rushing. It was right before work. So luckily I got up just in time and I finished just in time. 
I haven't tried it out yet, but I will soon. I'll let you know how that goes. But all in all, a pretty decent installation. Takes about three hours. I recommend laying everything out. And uh, I recommend wearing leather gloves. Of course, some eye protection because there's always some dirt or something up in here that's going to fall. Luckily, I had my airbags. I was able to raise up my, my truck a little bit. Provided lots of extra room in there. But if you don't have that, just you know, jacking up the frame of the truck itself to take, give you a little bit, take the travel out of the, out of the frame, give you a little extra working room up there. But now there's my work alarm. You don't have to have a lift and all that kind of stuff. Of course, if you do, it would, sorry, turn my alarm off. So if you do have a lift, it'd probably make it a lot easier. And if you have an extra pair of hands, it'll make it a lot easier. Holding that center section up, it really wasn't bad, but if you had uh, extra help, it would, it would be nice. Oh, I did mention, on my other video that fell off or that on my other video that didn't uh i don't know what happened to the file on this long cross member right here you know it has powder coat on it so i recommend putting the bolts in first while it's on the ground just run them in a eh, quarter of the way half the way whatever just to clear uh, the, the the threads on it uh, makes it a lot easier and um, to me it made it very easy getting them in there was one i didn't do and i actually struggled with it a little bit up here so pre-run those bolts in when it's on the ground and it goes a lot easier but everything's pretty easy i also so this is the this is the main cross member that's the heaviest part of it so the bolts that are up there there's another similar cross member to this but it's thicker that's in the front I put my bolts through it and just let them sit right there on the edge. So after I pushed up the cross member, I just pushed the bolts through and then it, it stayed there. Snugged them up just a little bit and that pulled this part up and then I ran these bolts in. These are threaded through here so there's no there's no nuts or anything to get on there with them. Yeah, B&W hitch, not too bad. Uh, I like it. Everything worked out really good. And then again, one last shot of my uh, seven pin hitch. That video was just before this one. And you know, it comes back here, you can see, oh, there it is right there. That's on the bumper hitch. So I still have use of the bumper seven pin hitch and now the in-bed seven pin hitch. And of course the spare tire hides everything. That's about it. I hope that was helpful. I gotta get off to work. I'll, I'll talk to y'all soon. All right, thanks, bye.